Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey Paxton, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team, and this week I'm excited to share with you a really fun suite of product from the holiday catalog. It's this Feels Like Frost suite. So you can see these super cute cards here that they have in the catalog. You can see the really pretty paper. One side of the paper has the photorealism look and the other side is has silver accents here I'll flip the page over here you can see the paper better there on that page so cute so it also has this stamp set this is the frosted foliage stamp set so cute and it comes with I'll bring these in this is the frosted frames dies there's five of them in there and look how pretty this there's this frame with the pretty flowers around it and then some snowflakes and some other little details there it's so much fun also come um in the suite is this really pretty ribbon it's the balmy blue color um and then it has like silver glitter throughout so pretty and then some shimmery crystal effects and one of my favorites is this eye stamping glitter. It's like kind of a chunky glitter, you can see. So it's been such a fun suite of products to work with and I wanted to show you a few things that we've come up with um, using it. So first I wanted to just kind of show you some of the different products and accessories that come in it. But I also wanted to bring in a few others that are in the catalog as well. So the first one that I, I've been having a lot of fun with, this one isn't actually in this suite of products, but it's the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint, which is a lot of fun. So I wanted to just kind of show you how to use that and then what I did adding some of the other accessories with it. So um, with this puff paint, you have to be kind of careful. It comes out kind of quickly. So you just kind of dot it right on and you can do it wherever you want. I'm going to do it on all of my big snowflakes here just in the centers and you can tell I'm hardly pushing any out at all. I'm just kind of almost dabbing it on there because I don't want a whole glob to come out at once because it really does come out quite fast. So then I'm going to take before I use the heat tool on it I'm going to take the ice stamping glitter, this cute chunky glitter, and I'm just going to add that right onto the top of my puff paint. Um, I got this idea from France Martin. She, she came and visited us a couple months ago and we had a lot of fun stamping with her. So you can see that cute chunky glitter on top there. I'll move that out of the way and bring my embossing gun in here and I'm just going to heat set that. Just like that and you can see as I as it heated up it just kind of puffs up and grows and it's so cute and fun. And it just gives that cute little accent. And then with that chunky glitter in there, it gives it that little um, little bit of glitz too. So then I wanted to show you also the shimmery crystal effects too. Now this, um, you also can use this to put the that ice glitter on, but it also has a little bit of shimmer in itself. So you can use it as an accent too. So I'm just going to do those that little bit just in the middle of my flowers there, or my snowflakes. They kind of look like flowers, but they're snowflakes. Just like so let me bring in the full card that I made. You can see, so I used, this is where I used the um, shimmery um, crystal effects and I put the that ice glitter over it and then I used the puff paint in there too and it just gives it that little bit of detail in the background so fun 
So this has been such a fun um, suite of products to work with. I'll, I'm going to show you just a few more things that I've done with it. I also love the Shimmer White Stampin' Embossed Powder. And I actually did, I used that on the back of this card. You can see back in the background. I just did it right on um, Whisper White cardstock. And I thought it was just a really cool look on there. So that was fun with that. I'll bring in a few other cards here. Here's that foil side you can see of that paper. So pretty. So fun. I just love this photorealism look and you can see this is stamped too. And these were some some trades that we received in a swap that we did. So fun. So cute. So this is a great stamp set for the Christmas season, but even after into January when it's just kind of wintry and cold outside. It's a great stamp set to use um, for this cold time of year coming up. I'd love to see what you guys have come up with, so make sure you share in the comments below and make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.